Hello everyone, this is Angela from AngelaMcCall.com. Today I'd like to talk about regarding the biggest work at home scam. Last week I almost got scammed and I thought I'd share this with you because there's a lot of people, new people like myself who are new on the internet, business entrepreneur like myself who like to maybe supplement our income because we're just beginning and we wanted to have financial support on the other side and so we want to do this extra job so anyways um, it started December 23rd when this happened my sister actually asked me if I could do a website for their company and so her boss called me and I said that I've never done Google form before on Craigslist and um, they wanted me to do a, um, a website a business website on Craigslist and uh, I said that um, I've never done it before. The only time I've done it is when I advertised the uh, Chihuahua that got lost and we found him right in front of our front yard. And so um, that was the only time I've used Craigslist. And so I don't even know if you can do a hyperlink or an image that you can click to another website. And so what I did was I did a test and I put a an ad for myself. And this is the ad that's nothing big. I just cut and paste it through LinkedIn because after all it's a test, right? So I just copied the the text from LinkedIn and put an ad in there and just um test it and see if, if it's gonna come out okay and to my surprise a few people have actually uh, emailed me and asked me if I needed a job right and then finally this company emailed me and said uh, the hiring manager wanted to hire you uh, make sure that you have Google account or go to Google Hangout so that's what I did, right? I went to Google Hangout and I contacted this person. And as usual, they interview you and they ask you all kinds of legitimate questions such as, tell me about yourself, why should we hire you, tell me your strength, tell me your weaknesses, and then after you answer all those questions they hire you just like that and so I asked this person which she goes by Mrs. P. Bates something else it's a little Indian last name I couldn't remember and I don't even know how to pronounce it so I said well how come you don't have a Google account and you don't you don't have any picture of yourself and so that is something like a an alert or a red flag if you didn't see any image and they're not even in Facebook and they're nowhere to be found and she said well I just created this account for you I said oh okay so we went ahead and uh, started the interview right we went ahead and she asked me all these questions and so I, and she asked me, do you think you can do all this job that we have? I said, well, is this supposed to be a graphic design job? Because that's the only thing I know what to do. I'm very savvy with computers and I can type 70 words per minute. I can do other things, um, you know, so anyways she said well this is a data entry uh, administrative assistant and so she said okay that's 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 fine you know um, she went ahead and hired me 
and I was really surprised. And according to her, she said, well, this is going to be $12 per hour on training, and there's somebody's going to be there on Fresno. You're going to meet him in person, and he's the one who's going to train you, your supervisor. Okay, fine. And she said that um, I will be making $22 per hour after the training, all that, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, she said, I have to send you a check because uh, you, you will be working for this company and you need this application to put it in your computer. I asked her, uh, how come you have to have, send me a check? Why can't you just send me the application direct so I can install it on my computer? And she said, well, you're supposed to be buying this and so we're sending you a check, you know, we're sending you a check via USPS. And so we did that. We, um, she gave me the tracking number and I tracked it and from Ontario to Fresno to wherever, it was just going back and forth and then finally it went back to return to sender. I said, why would it be return to sender? USPS never failed, never failed in Fresno. They always contact me. They always knock on my door and make sure if this is a certified mail, then it needs my signature, right? And so anyways, that didn't go through. It, it failed. And so she said, well, I said, well, that's one of the reasons why I don't think you guys are for real, right? So I I was already doubting about this, like maybe 90%, and then that 10%, I'm still giving it the benefit of the doubt that maybe this is for real. So anyways, uh, the second time around, she used UPS, okay? She gave me the tracking number of the UPS, and it says that it, 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 it from um, some state, um, and this company is supposed to be in India, and I don't know why it's coming from United States, all right? And I have no idea how they create the tracking number, because I know UPS and USPS are legit company. Anyways, I tracked this number via UPS, and it says it's going to be delivered next day at 8, eight o'clock. It never came. And so I contacted her again, and uh, every 9 o'clock, we're supposed to be meeting, right? And so, so every 9 o'clock, we have to meet in Google Hangout or Google Chat, 9 o'clock. It doesn't have to be FaceTime, but it was just a Google Chat. And so I wasted my time, I think, December the 23rd. So it started December the 23rd until January 8th. So if you can count from there. The so 20th. she just actually wasted my time all of those times. She wasted 17 days of my time of all of these scam. And I've never encountered this. And so I'm warning you that you should be careful out of these people who's trying to scam you because they know a lot of people like to work at home. It's a dream job, right? So who would not want to, you know, make $22 per hour and work at home? Yeah, right. So they, um, you know, they, they trying to target people like you and me, right? And so anyways, the things that also that she asked me, she asked my bank, she asked my name, and she asked my address. But thank God I never gave given her my bank account or my bank account number. Never, ever, ever give your bank account number. Anyways, when this is process was going through, I called Karina. You know, you know her. She is from that. She has that website, Work at Home. And so, anyways, um, I thought she is the professional work at home person. And so I contacted her and we talked for a long time. And she 
she shared me some of the experience that she experienced online. She said that this person sent her like a thousand dollars and then wanting five hundred dollars back and so she told me if anybody would like to send you a check don't go for it right so and this person is trying to send me a check and she said oh this is gonna be exactly how much what is going to cost you to buy this application online okay and so fine so anyways when the UPS did not go through she said I have another option would you like to hear it I said yes and so she asked me if I have a mobile bank or a bank through mobile online Right away, I said no. I thank God that I uh, talked to Karina about this because, you know, I would have been so stupid to say yes, right? And so I said no. And so I said, um, you guys are just wasting my time. You are the biggest fraud. You know, you are the biggest fraud. This is just a waste of my time. No, thank you. Um... I think you guys are the biggest fraud of all. Goodbye. I don't remember exactly what I said word for word, but I said something like that. And I was so furious. I was so shaking. I called Karina again and I said, look, this didn't work out. You know, I really wanted to believe. I really wanted to uh, believe that these people are for real, but no, they're not. So... I just wanted to warn all of you guys, please, please, if anybody asks your bank account or your name or your address right away without, you know, without even working for them, and for crying out loud, she said she was going to send somebody here in person to train me. Nobody came. So this is just the biggest prod, the biggest scam in the world. Work at home. So be careful. Be careful out there.